Hi, this is Nana Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, March 12, 2018. Looking at precipitation over the past uh, 14 and 30 days, uh, you can see over both of these periods, the majority of the Great Basin has seen below average precipitation. Um, things have improved a bit across the north. Uh, you can see the portions of Idaho and northeastern and western Nevada that have seen above average precipitation, but on the whole, precipitation has been below average across the Great Basin. Of particular note is the extreme dryness across the southeastern part of Utah where things are far below normal. Looking at snowfall over the past 72 hours, uh, the southern areas of the Great Basin did finally see some of the snowfall that they've been missing out on for most of the year. Uh, they saw about uh, 4 to 6 inches with some higher elevation areas seeing as much as 8 to 12 inches of snow, although it is a far cry from what is needed to bring them back up closer to normal. Looking at snow depth across the Great Basin, uh, there is uh, some snow pack in place across the higher elevations with uh, little to no snow cover across the lower elevations. Just comparing uh, the snowpack to average, really pretty much the entire Great Basin is below average as far as snowpack. Uh, the legend on the left shows that those oranges and reds are below normal and with the exception of the central Idaho mountains, pretty much the entire Great Basin is below normal for where they should be this time of year. So that'll definitely be something we're looking at going into this fire season. The satellite uh, this morning so shows high pressure in place across the Great Basin. We are seeing temperatures close to average with a few degrees above average today and those temperatures will continue to rise into tomorrow with that high pressure in place. So looking in further detail at today, uh, the image on the left really shows that high pressure in place across the Great Basin and with that high pressure in place uh, the ventilation index will be poor to fair across the northern portions of our area. Uh, with high pressure in place, we will see light transport winds with low mixing heights, particularly across the northern half of the Great Basin. As we move into Tuesday, we start to see things change a little bit with a low pressure system making its way um, into the Pacific Northwest. We will see winds increase across the western part of the Great Basin, uh, increasing the ventilation index across Nevada. You can see here in more detail those increased winds expected across western Nevada with increasing mixing heights across uh, the southeastern parts of the Great Basin. As we move into Wednesday, that uh, system will begin to impact the Great Basin. We will see those winds continue to improve the ventilation index across the majority of the area. And as uh, you can see from that image on the left, we'll start to see those gusty winds move into western Utah, southeastern Nevada, um, and portions of southeastern Idaho and Arizona on Wednesday. So looking at the next three days, uh, you can see a similar trend reflected in the clearing index from the Salt Lake Forecast Office. Uh, a big increase moving into Wednesday with those increasing winds. Over the next three days, a fair amount of precipitation is expected across the entire Great Basin uh, with a focused across, focused across the higher elevations of Idaho. On Thursday, that low pressure system will stay in place, impacting much of the Great Basin. We will see good, excellent mixing across the entire area on Thursday. Moving into Friday, things remain largely the same, though there could be a little bit of decrease in that ventilation index across portions of the Great Basin on Friday. Though with that low pressure system in place, uh, pretty stationary, we will continue to see good ventilation index across much of the area. And moving into Saturday, it looks like that system rotates a little further south and east, continuing to impact the Great Basin into the weekend. Looking at Sunday, we will see a continuation of those unsettled uh, weather conditions, resulting in a weekend of good to excellent mixing. So in the four to five day period, we are looking at a continuation of the unsettled weather with precipitation expected for the majority of the area. However, you will, will note uh, the lack of precipitation across southeastern Utah, portions of northern Arizona where it really has been quite dry. Finally, in the eight to 14 day outlook, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for uh, some more precipitation. They're looking at above average precipitation for the entire Great Basin and below normal temperatures for the entire area. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.